<clears throat> hey, Soul Fam, how's it going? How are you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, guys, welcome back. If you are new, please subscribe for sure. Join our Soul Family. Make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell so you know when I'm coming live. Um, and yeah, please like the video, guys, because the more likes I get, the further I go. Um, it's just how YouTube works. Anyways, so if this video, if you enjoy it, please like it. Let me know. So what are we going to talk about on this video? I'm going to dive deep into the tarot, actually, where I'm going to get a feeling of what is hidden or left unsaid in this connection with the person on your mind. Since y'all are into the love stuff, I'm definitely keeping um, the love stuff going on in my channel since I've been um, diving into that a lot lately. So with that, I'm going to get started. I already wasn't picking up intuitively message or intuitive messages for you guys. So I've got one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve tarot cards that I pulled for your storyline. All right, so what is hidden or going on in this connection as a collective message? So if this resonates, fantastic. If it doesn't, it's not your message. But if it does, let me know in the comments because it's pretty very, very specific for someone. Um, one of the things that I did hear going through this is that no matter where this person is, what this person is doing, who this person is entertaining, what is hidden or left unsaid is that this person still loves you. Um, I heard this person still loves you. I heard this person has feelings for you, but I also heard that this person's definitely in their feelings. And I do see that because I've got the nine of swords up here, followed by the 10 of wands, followed by the three of swords. And then I've got the four of swords going on here. So I would say that your person is very close to wanting to come forward and talking to you. What is hidden is that this person has a lot of hidden emotions that they really haven't been able to express to you. I feel like since the breakup or since whatever has happened between you guys, they're feeling a sense of depression, a sense of, you know, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worrying about life. They're feeling like the world is on their shoulders right now. They're feeling a little bit of heartbreak. They're feeling a little bit of like wanting to be alone. They don't want to really, they really don't want to engage with other people. I feel like if they are, I feel like this is a facade where I like, I feel like they're doing it to pass time or doing it to kind of um, mask how they're truly feeling. But since we're going into what is hidden and left unsaid right now, I'm going to tell you the tea and tell you straight up that this person is hurting. This person's feeling lost. This person's feeling insecure. They're feeling a little bit of depression. They're feeling in their head with the four of swords up here. You know, they're definitely going through some type of spiritual awakening because I got the death card too. So this person is either getting karma for how they treated you or they're going through some major spiritual shifts. Since coming into contact with you, since coming into terms with you, since meeting you, I felt like everything they knew about life shifted and changed the minute they came across you. And I think that's why you two were meant to come into each other's lives was for this spiritual reason. Okay. But what is hidden or going on in this connection is that this person is hiding how they truly feel about you. If this is an X, I'm going to go X and then I'm going to kind of go into a new person. But right now, if this is an X that you're thinking about or wondering about or anything a lot of that, I definitely feel like this X is still in their head. They definitely always saw marriage with you. I have the higher fonts up here too. So it's like they always saw marriage with you. They always saw commitment with you. They always saw that you guys would be together for a very long time. Like I'm just getting that. And the two of wands, this person was at a crossroad for a very long time about what to do in this connection. They, they pondered and wondered, should I stay? Should I go? Should I make this work with a hangman up here too? That's the kind of feeling I'm getting is like, they, they came from a place of like, should I stay in this connection and make it work? Should I leave this connection? Like, I really feel something for this person. I really see marriage with this person, but I'm not sure if I'm happy anymore. And I'm always in my feelings and I'm always in my head and we're arguing. 
but it's like they want to come forward and with the knight of cups here it's like they want to come forward and explain shit to you because with the queen of swords up here it's like they know that you are a very good person they know that you are a woman of like god or it's like you're a woman who's very valuable and very like a lot of people had their eyes on you and a lot of people had their eyes on you not necessarily because you were drop dead gorgeous or anything but because you were a good fucking person you you were a good person right and i'm feeling like this person was very focused on the pentacles nine of pentacles they were very they were trying to get financially stable they were trying to get financially secure so that could have been kind of what was hidden or left unsaid is that they were really focused on their work and their work overrided the relationship, the connection. Okay. Um, but they, like I said, this person is going through some type of spiritual awakening, some type of spiritual shift where I feel like spirits coming down and giving them a wake up call. Like you're about to lose something good. If you don't step up here, you know, the hangman again, they felt so stuck for so long about how they felt about you. And I feel like now, because this was reversed. So now that this is reversed, I feel like this person's coming from a place where it's like, you know what? I'm not stuck anymore. I know what I want. I know I want my person back. I know I want this connection back. I know that I, I see a future with this person, that there was a way in which you made this person feel that no one else has ever made them feel. And I feel like they're reflecting on that. They're going on that right now. They do see marriage with you. For some of you, this person, and I'm seeing 555. Five, five, so there's lots of changes coming towards this connection. Like I said, transformations are happening all in this connection right now, where I feel like this person, my two of wands was reversed too. So this person is no longer at a crossroad. Whoever this ex is, they see you for who you are. They see this connection for what it is. And they are going through that spiritual stuff. They are going through spiritual awakening, the transformation, the karma. It's like their whole world has been flipped upside down since you guys disconnected. So I don't know who that was specific for, but I mean, that's coming in really strong. This person. So this X is coming back. If I flip the script for a second and I start talking about someone new, because I know some of you are dealing with someone new or something on the line of that, who, I mean, I've got fire signs up here, air signs, earth signs. I mean, it could be any sign. I got all signs up here. Um, if it's a newer connection you're dealing with, what is hidden or left in this connection is that this person is dealing with a lot of anxiety. Maybe they are dealing with some heartbreak. Maybe they're dealing with the loss of someone else. Maybe there was a marriage that ended or something and it really rocky. This person is still at a crossroad a bit in their life because I feel like they don't necessarily know if they should go on how they're feeling right now. It's like their mind is telling them one thing, but their heart is telling them another. And it's like they really do want to come forward towards you and make this connection with you work, make this relationship with you work. But at the same point, it's like, I still am feeling a little bit for the ex or the ex person that they were dealing with. So like, it's like this person does see that you are a very committed person. Or it's like, they see that they could have a wonderful, amazing life with you. And I feel like they want to come forward and express that they want a new beginning with you. But I do feel like they are still stuck in something else. But they, again, they do see you as being very confident, very valuable, but they also could be going through some type of spiritual awakening they are definitely taking this time with the four of swords here to kind of go within and, and listen to how they're feeling. Because right now, again, I feel like this, this new person is feeling a bit trapped. And I think that's what's being hit in our left hand set is that they do want to come forward and talk to you about how they're feeling. And the fact that they, they felt something with you, or they know they could have something great with you. They could have a marriage with you or a long-term relationship with you. But they're a bit still at a crossroad. But it's like the, whatever awakening they're going through, you know, work is also very important to them. They're also going through something work-related, right? So however you take the storyline today, it's like a lot of the divine masculines, let's just say, are going through a lot of shakeup, a lot of transformations, a lot of changes. And I feel like divine feminines, you're coming more into your power. A lot of us are coming more into our power, which is sh like shaping the divine masculines in a different light, in a different way. But, and I mean, I got the world card on the top too. So that would just tell me that something has been completed. Something, there's been a cycle or something has come to an end. 
for this connection, whether it's the ex or whether this is a new person or whether it's both, to be honest, what is hidden or left unsaid is that this person still truly loves you or they're falling in love with you or they have feelings for you or they're in their feelings. Take it however it resonates, but that's what I'm feeling. What is hidden or left unsaid for the collective, please? What is hidden or left unsaid for the collective? What is hidden or left unsaid for the collective, please? What is hidden or left unsaid for the collective, please? Deception card. So for some of you, this deception card speaks to third party energy. It speaks to what is hidden or left unsaid in this collective is that there could have been some third party cheating. Um, there could have been some people who were not speaking their truth. But I definitely feel like right now what I'm what I'm leaning on is that this person is just hiding how they truly feel about you in this connection. You know, I feel like for some, they want to come forward. They want to speak their truth. They want to share what they need to, but they're scared. They don't know how you're going to react. And maybe this is because you react like way off the wonker, right? Maybe they feel like if it's, if it's not going your way that you're going to react a certain way, or maybe it's like you're not seeing it from their perspective, something on the line of that. But yeah, so someone is not being honest about how they're truly feeling in this connection. What else is being hidden or left unsaid for the collective, please? What else is being hidden or left unsaid for the collective, please? What else is being hidden or left unsaid for the collective, please? What else is being hidden or left unsaid for the collective? Keep an open mind. He, they're trying to keep an open mind right now because there's still chemistry for this person. They're feeling very soul connected towards you right now. Like there's still a pull. When they think about you, they still get the, and my ears are ringing. So I don't know if your guys are ears ringing, but my ears just started ringing. So someone's thinking about you. Um, there's still a very strong chemistry between you two. There's still, you know, they like hugging you. They like being close to you. They're, they're trying to keep an open mind that if you two are meant to be together, you guys are going to come back around or you guys will be able to make this work. What is left um, unsaid or hidden? Yeah, I mean, this person really wants to express themselves towards you. I feel like they're just having a hard time to coming with the, the words that they want to speak to you about this. Maybe for some of them, they need to release an ex in order to come forward and share what they're feeling. Maybe they have to make that decision that they are not going to go backwards, that they are only going to go frontwards. Okay. What else do I say? Yeah, they want to come back again and have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This person does want to share with you how they feel. And maybe after they release an ex or a, a past connection, they'll be more clear and be able to do that. I feel like maybe they're just too much feeling like what's going to go wrong instead of allowing themselves to feel what they need to. But they do feel very soul-connected towards you. They feel like they've known you forever. They also could possibly see you as a true love, and they know you deserve love. So it's like this person knows that when they come, they need to come right because you've already been through enough. And that's kind of feeling like they know that you're very lovable. You're very beautiful. You're amazing. You know, they felt a lot with you. If it's an ex, this person is still, you know, they want to come back and say, look, I know I was wrong. I know I shouldn't have done what I did, but I, I can't get you out of my mind. I can't get you out of my head. I, I feel like you're the love of my life. You know, I know you deserve a lot more than me, but I'm asking you to give me a second chance. I'm asking you to trust, you know, Whew, very intense, guys. I feel like both of these energies that I'm feeling right now, um, I would say go with your intuition, go with your gut. Let me see if I can get any signs for you guys. Might help clarify this. What are the signs coming through for the collective? What signs are coming through for the collective for this reading? The strength could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What are the um, signs coming through for this reading? What are the signs coming through for this reading? Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Water and star. Okay. So I'm going to say... Between the next two to six weeks, you should see a shift in this person because this person's watching you. 
this person's watching you. They still love you. Like I said, I feel like you're this person's wish come true. And I feel like they just, they need to recognize that within themselves. They need to recognize this connection for what it is. So hopefully that resonates guys. Let me know in the comments, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, subscribe if you have it. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.